Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. India's second lunar mission, the Chandrayaan-2, is ready and scheduled to be launched on July 15th at 2.51 a.m. from Sri Harikota. The spacecraft has undergone all tests and is currently in Bangalore, ready to be transported to Sri Harikota over the next few days. The spacecraft consists of three components, an orbiter, a lander and a rover. The orbiter will stay in orbit around the moon, the lander will make a soft landing and not crash on the lunar surface and the rover would then move for about 500 meters. The lander is called Vikram after Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, who is often referred to as the father of the Indian space program. The rover is called Pragyan. The rover is housed within the lander through its entire journey to the moon. Once the lander touches down upon the lunar surface, the rover will then be released to move on the lunar surface. The rocket that will fly Chandrayaan-2 is the GSLV Mark III. This is India's biggest and most powerful rocket. But it's still not as big as Saturn V, which flew the NASA astronauts to the moon during the Apollo missions. Instead, the GSLV Mark III will drop off Chandrayaan-2 in orbit around the Earth. The spacecraft will then perform a series of orbit raising maneuvers by going around the Earth in orbit. After five such maneuvers, it will then perform a trans-lunar burn and coast on its way to the Moon. Once it reaches the Moon, it will insert itself into an elliptical orbit around the Moon and then perform a series of orbit lowering maneuvers so as to settle into a circular orbit of 100 kilometers. The orbiter will then remove the lander which will then further perform more burns to lower itself slowly and steadily to come to a height from which it can safely drop onto the surface without crashing. Before landing, the lander will have to fire its engines and slow down. Once it lands safely and stably on the lunar surface, it will then open the hatch for the rover to come out. The entire process from the launch to the release of the rover on the moon's surface is expected to take a couple of months. The launch is scheduled for July 15th and the landing is expected to happen on September 6th or the 7th. There are 14 payloads to this mission, 8 on the orbiter, 4 on the lander and 2 on the rover. One of the payloads on the lander belongs to NASA. The orbiter is expected to function for at least a year and probably more, whereas the lander and the rover are expected to have a lifetime of a mere 14 to 15 Earth days. This is because of the solar radiation for which there is no protection on the moon's surface owing to the fact that the moon does not have an atmosphere. The spacecraft will land at a location on the southern pole of the moon where no human or robot has ever gone before. The entire mission costed ISRO 603 crore rupees. The spacecraft is currently at ISRO's Satellite Integration and Test Establishment campus in Bangalore. Here, it is sitting in the clean room for any last-minute tests that would be performed before the spacecraft can be moved to Sri Harikota. We can see the lander here and inside the lander is the Pragyan rover already housed within. This part is the orbiter. Here are two balloons. These are used for testing purposes. Because the lunar gravity is so less, these balloons here add artificial buoyancy so as to simulate the low gravity environment of the moon. The lunar south pole is where Chandrayaan-1 helped make the discovery of water on the lunar surface. We expect a lot of exciting new science to come from Chandrayaan-2. This is Sandhya Ramesh reporting from Bengaluru for the Print Science.